we're gonna bring in some Microsoft Project costs into your timesheet. Now you might be doing a little double take right now saying, wait a minute, timesheet, costs, uh, don't you mean to say time? Well, in this case, we're gonna be looking at Microsoft Project costs and how they come down into standard time in synchronization. Now, I wanna let you know that um, Microsoft Project integration or synchronization is not required for standard time. You can have native projects in standard time that perform these cost analysis all on its own. You don't need Microsoft Project for that. But if you're computing those costs based on uh, human resources or material resources, cost resources in Microsoft Project, you can bring those costs down into standard time and see them. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this tool right now. So I've opened up Microsoft Project and I have a very small project here that includes some costs that will be synchronized with standard time. And so I wanted to just go through the uh, project here, show you where these task costs are derived, and then uh, show you how they come down to standard time in the synchronization. So uh, first thing we have here, again, is a very small project with two tasks and one human resource. You can see some other resources here assigned to these tasks. The first thing I wanna do here, I think, is create a new window. Let's, so you've got your tasks here, and then down below, you've got your resources. So on the first task, Buzz is gonna put roofing on a shed, and he can do that in one hour. He charges $25 an hour to do that. He's gonna need a hammer at $10. He's gonna need one bucket of nails, at one dollar and he's going to need two rolls of roofing at five dollars so that totals up to forty six dollars the second task he's going to roof the entire house and that will take ten hours again buzz is assigned as the human resource at twenty five dollars an hour times ten hours uh, he already purchased the hammer uh, so there's no cost there but he has four buckets of nails at a dollar a piece and 10 rolls of roofing at five dollars a piece so that totals up to 304 dollars and then the total job is 350 dollars so i wanted you to first of all just see these tasks the costs that are involved it turns out that microsoft project has three different types of resources there is a work resource the human resources, there are materials, and there are costs. So each of those uh, combine into the final cost that you see here in the project. And I wanted you to see that all of those costs come down to standard time during the synchronization. So this video is not about sending and receiving time, actual hours, work, so on and so forth. This is about cost. And we have other videos that show the uh, time being transferred and you should look those up. So let's go ahead and perform a synchronization and we'll see those costs come down to standard time. Now, first of all, click on the project tab. You can see a new button over here on the right hand side for standard time synchronization. And so I'm going to click that to perform a sync with standard time. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just create a new project in standard time. This comes up by default with the name of my project. I'm just gonna name this eight 2009. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project for that and then click OK. What you see here is that there are some resources that are used on this project that are not in standard time now. Sometimes those are human resources, others are uh, material or cost resources. I'm going to go ahead and add those because I want to see those assignments in standard time. Click yes, and so the synchronization is done. So now I can simply switch over to standard time and see the effect. And the first thing we see is a new project in the timesheet, and you could put some hours into the employee timesheet here and then send those back to project. But that's really not the uh, purpose of this video. We're looking at costs. So let's switch over to the project task view. We have a similar view that you saw over in Microsoft Project. Here you see the tasks, and again, you're seeing the durations here that came from Microsoft Project. The client rate for each of these tasks, $25 for Buzz. The costs that came down 
from Microsoft Project, and then we also broke out the material costs. You do also see the uh, resources that are assigned to each one of these tasks. Again, buzz, hammer, nails, roofing. I'll just briefly switch back to Microsoft Project. You can look down here, see how these costs are set up in Project as resources, either work, material, or cost, assigned to tasks, and then they impact the project from a cost perspective. And then back to standard time, when you sync, you'll be able to see those same costs down in standard time. Don't worry, only the administrators will see that. So that uh, should give you a little idea how standard time handles the cost fields in Microsoft Project.